Hello guys and welcome in my channel Dom's Games. In this video I'm gonna show you how you can slow down your game or speed up your game in Unreal Engine 5. I'm gonna show you two ways, slowing down the whole level like this or slowing down a specific actor like this. For this tutorial we're gonna use two functions. Set global time dilation for slowing down the whole level and the second function set custom time dilation for slowing down a specific actor. I have here a fresh third person project with two actors that contain one type of animation. What I'm gonna do for example when I press F key, the time of the whole level will slow down. To do that, first you need to open your character blueprint, for example here I have third person character, and type key F for example. By the way you can change the key from here or you can press here and press any key you want. As I mentioned before, we will use a function called set global time deletion. For normal time, we type here 1. To slow down the time, we put a value between 0 and 1. For example, I will slow it by half, so I put here 0.5. That means when I hold the F key, the time will go down. We copy this function again and put the value 1 released. That means when I press the F key, the time will go down, and when I release the F key, the time will go normal. Let's compile and test. For example now, I'm holding the F key, and now I'm not. So that's it. And it's the same for speed up time. For example, let's put here 3, and compile, and let's test again. Look. So that's it from changing time for the whole level. Now let's say for example you want to slow down the time only for this actor. To do this open your character or actor blueprint. Type event begin play. Type enable input first. We do this function to give input to this actor. Here we put git. Player controller. For example, if we want to press the R key and the character slow down, we type here keyboard R. As I mentioned before, also, here we type custom time deletion. Let's type, for example, 3. We copy this function again and type here. One. Let's compile and let's test. No, if I press the R key, look for this character. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this tutorial helped you. See you in the next tutorial.